This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Well, Offset's dropping his album. He does uh, like this little skit on James Brown. When James Brown had just gotten out of jail, he did an interview and uh, was talking crazy in the interview. And he, he did that with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't like Jamie Lee Curtis that much, but it was a good idea for the commercial. Um, it was funny. I mean, you know, it shows a little humor on his side. And then we got... Jay-Z is really doing this push so people take him very seriously as an artiste. You know, he, he's, he's uh, there's no way that he didn't help fund this exhibition, you know? And it's smart because people, like, take you more seriously as an artist. You know, he really wants to be Basquiat. We know that, okay, by the way he does his hair and acts and everything. So... You know, he wants to be known as like uh, a painter type of artist, not a, a street artist. <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. They recreated like a lot of things in Jay-Z's life in the exhibit. It cost a lot of money to put that exhibit together. I had to. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just worth it, you know, for him to just have that, have that notch in his belt, you know. Uh, then we got Lotto. She gets her first number one on somebody else's record. I forget the guys. I think it's, um, I think it's an Asian artist. I'm not sure, but she's featured on the record. I, I guess a win is a win, but she's on the hot 100, number one on hot 100, uh, because of somebody else. It's nobody you would know. It's like an overseas artist. I'm pretty sure. Um, YNW Melly, they're, they're vowing to cook him. They're redoing the prosecution and they will refile and retry him for double murder because it was a deadlock 6-6. Six, six. I mean, you're not going to get out of jail on that. Now, he might get bond now because there was enough doubt where the jury was, you know, confused. I don't know how a second trial goes. Like, can you use the same stuff? I have no idea. You know, like, that's a that's a lawyer question. That I'm sure a lawyer will break down on YouTube. Uh, then we got <clears throat> uh, LeBron listening to Nas' uh, Magic 2 album, which is like, it's okay. There's like a few songs on there that are good to me. Uh, the beats didn't really match the lyrics on a lot of the records. I'm just being honest, you know? Like, if it's good, it's good. Nas has dropped a lot of good music and a lot of good albums in the past couple of years. And he's still making music. Think about that. Like, he doesn't have to. Okay? He's doing this for sport at this point. And uh, I appreciate that. Because, yeah, you get a couple good songs every year. I mean, it's good. Damon John. Okay, so he invested in this boneless ribs um, company in about 2014. Well... Bubba Q's boneless ribs. The the owner, which is uh, I think he's an ex football player. He got a restraining order. So Damon John got a restraining order against them because uh, they were making negative statements about him, saying he's a con artist and a liar. Um, so he's granted this full restraining order for them to stop tarnishing his name. Something went south on their uh business deal not every business deal is gonna um go great but he invested three hundred thousand, and it was actually successful i remember doing a shark tank update and it was good um but i think you know bro these people are not these people are not um rich because they're the best people in the world. They're rich because they're ruthless. Bubba's Boneless Ribs closed a few years after his appearance on Shark Tank. During Bubba's Boneless Ribs appearance, the famous TV show Shark Tank, James Albert, what was it? James Albert London Baker assessed competing offers. Let's see. So you got 300000 for 30%, right? Uh, let's see. Are the owners of OQ's ribs? This happened on season five. Okay, here we go. Not a happy ending for this. So, do people want boneless ribs? Well, they do at McDonald's, right? For a sandwich. But, uh, 
up until the age 34 but okay well, let me see where exactly it went wrong okay the nightmare unfolds unfortunately as we mentioned previously above the cube bonus rib story does not have a happy ending at least as of 2023 in may the company sees production on its website it begins to be an exciting opportunity on shark tank quickly turned to a nightmare the daughter of al baker the, the guy who owned the ribs um business accused damon john and rustelli foods for excluding them from important business conversations attempting to take ownership on their patent and this is where it gets bad the company also launched a gofundme to help their legal battle prompting john and rustelli foods to file temporary restraining orders against the baker family and they're lost because they're going up against a lot of money the bakers claimed that 300,000 for 30 percent equity deal was later changed to 100,000 for 35 percent equity without their knowledge well you had bad lawyers at that point they lost control of the company's bank accounts john and Ristelli foods only gave them four percent of the profits later john posted uh john later posted a TikTok sharing his side of the story in which he accused the bakers of spreading false narratives yeah i don't know <laughs> you don't know in this situation you don't know if someone's not totally being honest on either side you know but uh yeah this is a mess it's messy doing business man oh man because someone you got to always know the other person is not on your side i don't care if they're invested in your company or whatever always never trust anybody you're a business partner anybody you got to know look what happened with jay-z and B, um jay-z and uh, dame dash you know you can't trust your business partner this is sad lebron's son suffered cardiac arrest he's recovering at a hospital after during our basketball workout very sad this is jordan tao with jt news uh also gilly sent his son son off yesterday um send prayers to gilly man that's just that's horrible to lose a son he'll never be the same ever but you know the only thing i could see pushing him forward is he has other you know he has family he has other kids and um that's what will probably get him through that because i've seen i've helped somebody through something like this before I would never want to see anybody go through that. It's just so, it's heart-wrenching, you know, because that's a piece of him that he lost, you know? So I hope that, um, well, we, we know he has a lot of support, so that's that's good, and they'll help him through that. Because, you know, it's a dark time, and you start thinking dark thoughts, you know? And I'm glad he has the support system he needs, because without that, I've you know, you can, it can get bad. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, I'm not just speaking out of my, you know, out of nowhere. Um, I appreciate you all. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.